today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to make sense of texts. Now you guys have to do this all the time when you get summer reading assignments and they ask you what does this novel mean. So usually they don't teach you this until graduate school but you all are really advanced students so and today we have the opportunity to use some special educational technology. Sensory deprivation technology is the newest in educational pedagogy. It's simple. Today's students spend too much time with cell phones and iPods, and it's such a fast-paced environment that we have to find some way to eliminate all that extraneous information. And by eliminating distractions, you'll learn better. So please apply your patented sensory deprivational educational technology. Very good. Okay, so to do a Marxist reading, you're looking for economic exploitation that occurs within a text. Are there any questions so far? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. So Marx exposes the way the proletariat are exploited by the bourgeoisie. Absolutely, that's a very astute observation. Good job, Ben. As a result of this experiment, test scores have gone up 100%. I've just passed back your essays on Oedipus Rex and the analysis of fate and agency in Aristotle's definition of a tragedy. I'm pleased to report that there was a score of 100% throughout the entire class. There was only one anomaly. I've used sensory deprivation software, and I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Thank you. I was failing all of my classes, but now, with sensory deprivation technology, not only do I have an A in vector calculus, but I read Voltaire for fun! People used to think that I was dumb, but now I can prove them wrong. Sensory deprivation technology. It, it really works! works. 